Wouldn't it be great if you could suddenly boost your performance in a training session, jump further and run faster? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can achieve that. We're talking about potentiation. In a previous video, we looked at that and how plyometrics in particular can boost jump performance and speed for that matter. You're also going to see a little bit of research that will help you understand how potentiation works and how you can get the most out of it. I'm going to focus on a session with Ruby, our under 20 jumper, who has a best of 609. Now, we experimented with loaded jump squats, three to four repetitions before she did some eccentric emphasis overload long jump takeoffs. And over a number of efforts, we did see that her jump performance improved the ability to generate greater height research indicated that performing similar plyometric activity improved the ability to get higher off the board generate greater vertical velocity we've also experimented with complex and contrast training which is something that i mentioned in the previous video complex and contrast training basically means putting together in the same workout weight training exercises and plyometric exercises. There are different ways of doing it, but we're going to stick to weights and plyos. Now the two exercises must have synergy and they must also recruit large amounts of muscle fiber. So it's best to do them with a heavy weight, for example, and then move on to some drop jumps. So jump squats, loaded jump squats and drop jumps would be a good combination, as would split squat jumps, loaded split squat jumps and single leg plyometric drop jumps. Contrast training is where you contrast the two exercises. So you do plyometrics, then the weight exercise in the set and complex training is where you'd perform all the sets of the plyometric exercise for example and then all the sets of the weight training exercise we've experimented with various types and to be honest there's not a great deal of difference in terms of the effects we've had when it comes to potentiation there's a lot of research out there that shows that it does indeed work but there's also a great deal which indicates that there are certain parameters under which it will work better. Much will depend on the athlete's level of maturity, physical development, and their base levels of strength and power, for example. A shallower squat angle may be better than a deeper one. Also, in terms of plyometrics, plyometrics seem to have a better potentiating effect than other means as well. Also, the strength level of the athlete did have a bearing on the success of the potentiating condition and also the rest period as well between the potentiating activity and the other activity. You've got to, in your training, come up with the best protocol that works for you. Well, I hope you gain something from this video on potentiating and how you can utilize different types of activity to stimulate a greater speed and power response for example i'm going to make some more videos on this and follow up on our experiences as usual if you've got any particular questions on the subject matter of this particular video then do leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media and again as usual good luck with any competitions you've got coming up and of course with your training and please do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon so that you get constant notifications of when I upload new material. Do you want to take your performance to the next level? Then why not consider becoming a channel member at coach athlete level? The latest video focuses on how to structure training across a two week block in the main in order to get the ebb and flow of the training correct. We look at intensity and how you can measure that. We also show you how to structure a workout in terms of how to dial back the intensity so that again in the course of a week's training you're not going to overload the athlete. So if interested do go over to the home page on your desktop, click on the join button and see what offers there are available. Interested in the extremely accurate and portable free lap timing system then do get in contact with me.
And if you like the Jump Squad merchandise, go to any of the channel's videos and click on the store underneath. And you can get a 15% discount if you use the code JUMP15. If you're interested in finding out more about Theraguns and the Theragun Elite in particular, check out the video on the channel and also look out for special offers and discounts. It's great device, Bluetooth enabled, multiple speeds and great for rehab.